Hey guys, Mike Linares here, and welcome to SimpleNursing.com. Before we start today's video, please remember to access your free quiz and preview our cool nifty new study guides not here on YouTube. Click the link right up here at any time during this video. All right guys, let's begin. Now the wrap up for endocarditis versus pericarditis. Guys, endo means an inflammation and stress inside the heart, usually from bacteria like strep or staph infection. This is called infective endocarditis. So patients have moldy valve doors and sepsis, aka bloodborne infections. And this makes it harder for the heart to pump out oxygen to the body, which means less cardiac output. Now peri for pericarditis means inflammation around the heart, which leads to mounting pressure that eventually squishes the heart and makes it stop beating either from too much fluid pressure called a pericardial effusion or blood filling the sac around the heart called a cardiac tamponade. But either way, the heart is not pumping correctly, meaning less oxygen is pumping to the body, so we have signs and symptoms of low cardiac output, this low oxygen, and pain in the heart. Now, the most common cause of endocarditis is from dirty needles and dental visits, the two Ds. And for pericarditis, we have chest trauma and even heart attack, or really any type of trauma. Now, as far as treatments for endocarditis, if you have an infection, which is usually the case, then we'll give antibiotics between four and six weeks at home with an IV pick line or central line. And you can even do valvular repair or replacement for surgery. Now, for pericarditis, which is that pressure around the heart, we can give anti-inflammatory medications like NSAIDs and steroids. But guys, if it's really bad, then we stick a big needle and drain that heart sac called a pericardial synthesis. All right, guys, that wraps up endocarditis versus pericarditis in our rapid wrap up. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.